Welcome back. You're watching Young Turks, the show that spent the last 11 years celebrating entrepreneurial excellence. Now, if we talk about the Indian education industry's metrics, there are 361 million children eligible for K-12 education, and there are 10,25,000 schools in India, of its 75,000 schools are in the private sector. So clearly, the K-12 segment is a gold mine of opportunity. Tapping into this potential is Rupesh Shah of Inopen Technologies, a company started in collaboration with IIT Mumbai. Now, InOpen develops computer applications to make learning fun. So here's a look at how Rupesh and his team are indulging in some computer musti. Five-year-old Rupesh Shah, a computer science engineer with a postgraduate degree from IIM Kolkata. His heart lies in creating open-source-based content and technology that can make learning fun. His passion took him to IIT Mumbai, where he developed Intux, an operating system based on Linux. An open-source evangelist, Rupesh also introduced 6,000 college students and officers of the Indian Air Force to the wonders of his world. When he's not talking technology, he's practicing hitting the right notes and churning out old Bollywood hits. Not just music, this techie is passionate about food, claims to cook up a storm and dishes out his words of wisdom in his blog, his alias, Chicken Entrepreneur. Yeah, I call myself Chicken Entrepreneur uh, because, you know, once, uh, I think it's two years now, I was invited to SP Jain College. It's a it's a management college here in Bombay. Uh, so you know, I was I, I was invited to give a talk, and a gentleman, uh, you know, who was speaking ahead of me, was saying that you know how these people who start at 22, 23 chicken out, you know, they start with a with a very myopic aim and they chicken out. So next turn was mine. I was I was what 20, 22 and a half, 23 that time. So. I thought yeah, it's a good term to get associated with, so I call myself Chicken Entrepreneur. So the Chicken Entrepreneur teamed up with Dr. Sridhar Iyer of the Department of Computer Science and Engineering at IIT Bombay and took the entrepreneurial plunge in 2009. InOpen Technologies was incubated by the Society of Innovation and Entrepreneurship at IIT Mumbai. Within the IIT Mumbai campus, InOpen serves the K-12 segment and offers computer-based education modules to private, municipal and government schools. InOpen also works with various government and corporate organizations to enhance their IT literacy programs. But just how does this relationship with IIT Mumbai work? InOpen has uh, primarily two products a computer science curriculum called Computer Masti and a science curriculum called Small Science. So Computer Masti is essentially developed by a team of professors and uh, other people in Computer Science Department in IIT Bombay. So Computer Masti is essentially an IIT Bombay product. It's developed in IIT Bombay. So IIT Bombay has backed it in terms of product development and the uh, IP which has went into it. We are also incubated in the IIT Bombay uh, cell called Sign. So we have a two-way relationship with IIT Bombay. So essentially say that Computer uh, Must is a collaborative product between IIT Bombay and InOpen Technologies. InOpen has polished the product and have taken it to schools in that sense. So yeah, I mean that's the relationship with IIT Bombay. And this relationship seems to have steered Rupesh in the right direction. Having opened doors in December of 2009, InOpen Technologies has since grown from serving 2,000 students to approximately 300,000 students spread across 125 schools in India. Rupesh and his team of 50 have trained more than 2,000 teachers and translated their flagship product, Computer Masti, into eight Indian languages and even two foreign languages. InOpen has passed on its mantra of Masti to 125 countries via its interactive e-books. Having recently set up offices in Hyderabad, Jaipur and Chennai, InOpen is also looking to take its business plan to the Middle East. 
Pinopen primarily has three verticals, one in the K-12 sector where we uh, charge a school with a per child kind of a model. We implement our product uh, in the form of giving course content to a child and uh, giving him the support softwares and applications, setting up the lab, uh, training the teacher or deploying a teacher if needed and we also handhold and give a give a school a series of handholding visits. We do assessments uh, three to four times in a year where we give the teacher, the principal a report on how the progress has been. And school in turn pays us per child. Uh, it could be per child per month or a year or you know whatever the agreement is. We are also uh, working with different uh, governments, state governments who gives us, uh, who pays us for the product development, for the curriculum, for the content which we develop and then pays us uh, royalty for every child. Rupesh's plan of action has reaped returns. Having started with an initial investment of 8 lakh rupees from family and friends, with Dr. Sridhar Iyer plowing in another 20 lakh rupees, Inopen Technologies has now clocked revenues of 2.5 crore rupees this year. What helped was seed funding of half a million dollars from Venture East and a collateral free debt of 50 lakh rupees from State Bank of India. While VCs are now backing Rupesh with an open mind, support from schools and clients wasn't always easy. I must have visited 300 schools, you know, spoke to different principals, the stakeholders. What I realized uh, was a very interesting thing that uh, schools are very complex organizations, very, very complex organizations. Mm -hmm. They love their stability, you know, whatever they have managed to. Having said that, they also want to up upgrade themselves, you know, uh, adopt new technologies and uh, adopt new curriculum. So the challenges were initially of the bandwidth. Rupesh now plans to widen his reach by developing books for Kindle as well as iBook applications. While plans to take in Open Technologies International are in the pipeline, Rupesh and his team are also working to add more subjects to their cache with the target of turning in 25 crore rupees in revenues by 2014.